My name is Jose Mato. I'm general director of CIC Biogune, or Biogune by sort. I'm a chemist, a biochemist by training, and I work on liver disease. The, this center is uh, relatively small. We are 150 people. I think we can group together everybody here in, in two large areas. One has to do with uh, host pathogen interaction, molecular recognition between pathogens uh, and the host. And the other one is metabolism uh, and disease, which can cover from cancer and metabolism, uh, uh, cardiovascular disease, uh, liver diseases. In the pathogen-host interaction, uh, there is a very active group working on prion disease. So how the prions infect the cell, how the prions uh, multiply, how it can jump from one species to another, which is very, very important. Another area of research in infection disease is a viral structure. Uh, uh, getting the structure of a virus is key to understand how it works. Uh, for instance, there is work on hepatitis C virus in the Zika virus. Um, this research also combines with the uh, interaction between the virus and the host. Uh, the, the, the usually it, it does through glycoproteins and there's a very active group working on the structure of glycoproteins and, and molecular recognition. I would like to start saying that, that metabolism has been the more important field of biochemistry for half a century uh, and then with the arrival of genomics metabolism became less important but in the last 10-20 years the, it is possible to study metabolism like we study genes, so not, not look into one or two metabolites, but looking at hundreds of them. Uh, eventually we'll be able to look to thousands of them. So we can describe the metabolism of a cell now in more and more detail. We now know that the metabolism of a cell is what makes a cancer cell to grow or to stop growing. So an approach to treat cancer is to, to twist the metabolism of, of a cell so that it is not longer so aggressive or maybe it's not making so much fat in the case of a fatty liver. Yeah, so these studies in metabolism uh, make the possibility to, with, the, with this new technology, to do high throughput, so to study not even 100 metabolites of a cell, but measuring hundreds of thousands of metabolites of many individuals. Uh, this is what now we call the phenome center. So, given a mouse or a blood sample, uh, one can get a complete picture of the metabolism. One can do this for hundreds of people and then start classifying people by age, by uh, obesity, complications of, of, a, of a disease. So, a phenom center is described f f uh, metabolically the phenotype of an individual or an animal model. Te technologically you need to be very very strong and then the collaboration with Brooker becomes very, very important because the, one needs the best type of equipment with access to the best technology but also to share this information. So we need to share information with other uh, phenom centers, with other centers that are having the same equipment because for me, this is a phenom center. For me, is not something that can occur in only one center. It doesn't make any sense to have one phenom center. It makes sense if there are a number of them spread over the world. I'm Oscar Millet, a PhD and a principal investigator at the Structure Biology Unit and the Metabolism and Disease Program of the CIC Biogone. Uh, as a principal investigator uh, in my institute, I'm supposed to lead uh, high-profile research, both at the basic level and at the applied level. And for instance, we work in uh, both the structure biology of different proteins, which are related with uh, rare diseases, and as well as the metabolomic characterization of uh, biofluids, samples like urine or serum, in order to characterize populations for disease, mostly. 
I'll describe a, a project related with methabolomics that uses NMR spectroscopy and that is uh, been made in collaboration with all the hospitals in the Basque Country which have uh, neonatology and also as well in collaboration with uh, Brooker who has developed actually the technology in order to analyze the spectra. So what we do is uh, we take uh, urine uh, samples from uh, newborns and then we extract that from the diaper and then we prepare the sample in a highly reproducible way and then when we analyze that using an MRI spectroscopy. Then uh, information that we can extract is the concentration of uh, certain metabolites that can uh, give access to the normal metabolite pattern that uh, this region, the vast community has and as well the absence of certain metabolites that would certify otherwise the existence of a rare disorder. NMR spectroscopy is, is able to uh, analyze uh, samples in, uh, to produce a metabolomic uh, outcome, a metabolomic analysis, an integral analysis of the metabolome. Uh, to that end, the advantages of, uh, of the technique are that it's highly reproducible only when you use certain protocols and also uh, it allows absolute quantification of the metabolites. Uh, to do so, Brooker has uh, prepared a specific machine that uh, grants all these possibilities in a very certified way and is, as well, very complementary to the LCMS, which is much more sensitive and therefore can detect many more metabolites. As I see the future that with a small blood sample or urine sample, one could get a lot of information about its personal health. The, an a physician could take decisions very rapidly about the risk of disease or diagnostic of a particular disease. Now the technology is there, I mean, it can be improved, but the technology is there. What is going to be difficult is to translate this technology into general practice. It takes uh, to make technology more friendly and also to make physicians, general practitioners, to be uh, knowledgeable about these technologies. And medical practice also needs to be changed. Uh, basically, one would not need to go to the physician so often. So uh, a, a blood or urine sample would be analyzed. Um, the doctor gets this information. And the, my iPhone would be able to do many different things. Um, good, good have a very close communication about risk to get disease, what should be my, uh, uh, my diet or what should I take or what should I, I not take. This is as I see the future.